course, your first morning here is the best sunrise I've ever seen. It's too late now to turn around and back again. I made my bed and now I lay my head in it. And I'm sorry I'm not perfect, but I knew that I wouldn't be. All right, Angel. It's time to go get some celery juice. You ready for this? Go ahead. Put your legs up. You're so majestic. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My new videographer. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the boys are up to today. I smell celery juice. How have you been feeling so far? I know it's like very early, but I feel good. Like just kicking the day off with, with some celery juice. Ooh Are you having withdrawals right now, man? <laughs> he is. 100%. Oh, no. He won't admit it ever, but he is. Oh no. This isn't this is this is good. This yeah. is really good. Yeah, I'm committed. Yeah. We're all yeah. committed here. I'm I'm committed. Yeah. Sure. That did not sound legit, bro. Two seconds ago, he comes out of the house. Chai's? Chai's? We're eating chai's, right? It's chai time. It's chai hey, time. Man. Hey, man, the universe keeps buying us chai's. The universe is trying to give me a chai for free it's true. every day. It's true. Yeah. Another brand bought us some chai's, but here's the thing. is the It's going to stay there forever on that board. We can yeah. get we can redeem that chai after 14, when, I mean, we, after 14 days. about anything you guys are trying to manifest right now. So tell me some of your goals. What's, what are some of your goals? <laughs> Got any things you're trying to manifest? Because yeah, it could cute. just stay there for 14 days, or you could just have it now. So like, no, uh, <laughs> you're you're putting and then a belief how you, how in chai you, that we can't manifest without chai. How you do no, <laughs> True. no, that's not what I'm doing. How you do one thing is how you do all things. And so the universe is giving us chai's, and you guys are like pushing that off to the side and not taking the abundance that's coming to you. It's probably gonna mirror all decisions and things that you're trying to manifest. <laughs> I don't right know now. about this, dude. I don't know, bro. I mean, what you're saying Some is is dog, true. I don't know about this. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to put that on you. I don't want to put that on you, but no. that is how I'm feeling about it, personally. That's your you addiction got... talking, man. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna have juice. We're gonna tap into our inner essence, okay? The life force within us that allows us to go forever. Without any chai, without no chai. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about this farm. What's up? Because I can't go, but I'm gonna have you guys gather some footage because I think it's gonna be, from what I hear, it's gonna be dope. Yeah, it's this guy, Ray Mackey. He's been doing permaculture for like 30 years and he's got um, a farm 30 minutes from here. So we're gonna go check it out. And he's growing hemp, he's growing tons of fruit trees, he's got a nursery, he's got the system down. That's yeah. a vibe. <laughs> Don't let that man get a chai, whatever you do. No, 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 we're gonna fly right past Akamai. Okay. Uh, it's, it's time for some chives, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Let's go. Cheers. Chai time. Chai time. <laughs> there you go. But these cats are from the mainland, yeah. so they went Oh, they're hard. hiking the John Muir Trail, and it's a vlog, actually. It's another vlog. Chai time. Not disappointed. Hey. Woo! Showed up again. And she's bringing the vibes. We got what? Coconut water and vibes? Bro, coconut water, coconut meat. Oh man. And a quiet pharmacy gifted you guys with some amazing tea and chai. For real, quiet pharmacy is the best. I feel like every time we see each other, we hug right here. <laughs> Same spot. I just heard some joy and laughter coming from the river. I've been editing all morning. Every time I walk by this waterfall though, I'm reminded to slow down. Hmm. Slow down. I, th I would say one of the more profound lessons that this island keeps teaching me every single day is just to slow down. And the more you slow down, actually the more you speed up. Oh, I see what the laughter and joy is about. All right, so Chloe and Angel are Reunited, and this brings me so much joy. I love them together. Angel's so happy. Katja, 
What are y'all up to? It's about co-creation, coming together, teaming up to create something very epic that's gonna contribute to the entire healing space. I think you two together, I feel it, are so powerful. I've never recognized like a sister as deeply like as I see her. I'm like, I know you. Yes. Like, we've been together before. I don't know if I've ever felt like that. And the same thing happened on New Year's and again like the same thing happened today. I was like just looking into her eyes and I was like, wow, this recognition. I feel like what we're gonna do together is starting with such a pure intention and such a strong foundation that it's going to be like so huge, but also in such benefit to humanity. You just got this today? Yeah. What do you feel will happen here? When you come here, you experience the land. Well, my first impression upon walking upon the land is that it's very clear already. I really think that what's gonna happen here is there's a wake an awakening happening in so many people, in so many individual lives. And I feel like you guys are manifesting, like physical manifestors of that. You're gonna bring people out here. You're gonna help to connect them with the land. The islands of Hawaii is, are is, it's like going to give them that frequency and that, that growth, basically. Um, I personally have learned so much from Hawaii coming here like 10 years ago, and I feel like the land is the greatest teacher. So if you can just come out here and connect with the water, with the food, the vibration, respect um, the Hawaiian people and the culture, and to let Hawaii be a teacher and a guide for all people and the entire planet, then I think that things are gonna go really, really, really well. Yeah. I'm down for all that, oh, that's a good vision. And this is perfect, this is perfect. <laughs> it's powerful, you know, it's, people are showing up, feeling called to this space, us now creating abundance together to share for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. We're vibing right We're now. Vibing. <laughs> I'm thinking just really embodying what we think heaven would be and just turning that into this space and just raising the vibe of the land. I feel like the land's already perfect, but just bringing up its fullest expression and allowing people to come experience it and then they can take that wherever they go and just really good art. Really I just good. want fire, yeah. art. Yeah, we were you know, talking that Paintings today. and pottery and music yes. and hit songs. Beautiful buildings and beautiful Sculptures. gardens. Sculptures of all yeah. kinds. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hello. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> uh, it was like 10 years ago. <laughs> What's the plan for today? The plan for today is to unload all the compost with these muscles. Yes. <laughs> that I can't compete with at all. We're gonna plant a bunch of moringa, lilikoi, katuk, spinach, peanut. Can we, oh, she's liking it. She's got the hips, the hips don't lie. Okay, so we got some planting. Jackfruit tacos lately, so we need to like keep up the jackfruit meat. Yep. We need to get our own. Okay, so we got a full gardening day ahead of us. We have a gardening day. And we have coconuts to harvest. Kaylee, Kaylee is a professional. He's gonna teach us how to climb. He loves to work with the land and connect with the mother earth. Super grounded, just like Navi. I feel like they're similar like in a lot of ways. And he, since he saw someone climbing his first coconut tree on the big island like 10 years ago, he like fell in love with it and was like, I wanna learn that. Mm. And he started just free climbing for the first four years. So Kaylee's gonna teach us how to scale a palm tree and harvest coconuts. Gracefully and beautifully. Beautifully, and, and I don't know if you guys have seen the, the tree, but it is very high up there. But let's go get to work. All right. All right. So, there's this guy Sepp Holzer in Austria and he believes that you shouldn't make the plants dependent on you to water, like let things dry out and wilt. It's just conserving energy. When it rains, then they open up and, uh, and that's fine. 77 for all of this? I, I literally thought this was gonna cost at least a thousand bucks. When he said 70, I was like, I paid him 77. 77? Nice. That's good vibration. Yeah. 
Alright, I'm going to take it. Take the to me. pot that it was in. This thing grew quite a bit. <laughs> like, what? We can take uh, this too. We can clip that off it's and plant it another tree, another tree from that. So it's all good. We're going to make a whole wall of this and you can eat it and it's nitrogen fixing. Gives a lot of nutrients to the other fruit trees. Those branches, as you put them underneath in the base, then they give them, they feed nitrogen to the other trees. How are you feeling, by the way, after that chai? I feel pretty good. Ready, ready to. Ready I feel to really good. Yeah, I'm like ready to get shit done. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think it's also the combination of who's here. No, They're very high talking, vibrational people. We were talking about it. It's not just like you know drinking the chai. It's drinking the celery juice before yes. the chai. That's that is the vibe. I've been That's feeling great yeah. off the celery That's juice. All we got to do. The whole squad is here. We're all pouring our vibrations into this land. Yeah. Yep. Shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beautiful part about this is we get to just pour our hearts, our souls into this land. That's going to make it so much more special. Oh my god, Bruce. <laughs> Here, good luck. Bruce. <laughs> Get it, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> you dude, he loves it. Wait, what was that? <laughs> he likes it. He likes this is how he likes to play. Yeah, he, he, he's a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky can't even guard it. <laughs> chill, son. <laughs> we have some coconuts way up there. Kaylee, as I mentioned earlier, he scales these kind of trees for a living. This 30 to 40 feet in the air. It's definitely dangerous, and so we didn't want to attempt to scale this ourselves, and we wanted to have someone who's a professional come over and teach us how to do it, bring the right gear. So I'm excited. I'm excited to harvest these. There's probably about 20 coconuts up there that are ready to be harvested. I was just remembering when I used to free climb and just like, I would never let anybody watch me do it. Like this is not about the show right. or anything, but for some reason we're doing it right now. I think it's to show people what living in harmony with nature looks like. True, I think it's about the connection with the land. And I think that's what I was always afraid to highlight. Like, hey, this isn't about me it's about the land and having humility respect for the aina yep i'm sorry it's getting a little wet so it's gonna be fun to climb Ooh. a little extra slippery uh oh <laughs> i don't know about that i don't know why you use the word fun but yeah <laughs> you drink from the land and you when you connect with the land and have that humility and that respect it gives you strength Mm -hmm. So I'll just show you guys real quick like how I climbed for like many years just by myself in the jungle just for me and my ohana. Like right here, you can actually launch yourself up. <laughs> Whoa. That, that was, was really that was beautiful. That was graceful. Thank you, Kaylee. That was wow.
there making a pulley on one of the leaves, huh? We actually have quite a few more that are scattered in throughout here. It just started raining right when we finished. Perfect timing. It's amazing. All I can say is that has nothing to do with me and it's everything to do about the land. It's our mama. Bless up. <laughs> These are huge. This is so beautiful. We man. can make ice cream. We can add some like maple syrup or honey to it and like, put it in the freezer. We have ice cream tonight. <laughs> our own coconut bliss. <laughs> the way you said it kind of freaked me out a little bit, but I'm, I'm coconut down. Coconut bliss. <laughs> there we go. Hawaiian Santa. <laughs> Those are huge. 